Hello guys, this is Baramix with Mix Training and today we're gonna see how to render from the command line. There's different reasons why you should want to do this. In my case in this scene is because I have different cameras that I want to render and before I even render the cameras I want to make a simulation. Alright, so this is what we're gonna do here. I have this guy here, my friend Roberto is back. So he's gonna go here, go through this uh, tours here and be happy. So let's simulate this to see what's happening here. It's a this simulation, it's not that heavy, but in your case might be a very huge explosion, flip solving, sting, a lot of grains, sand, or something really, really, really heavy that you uh, maybe simulate overnight and have some renders done after it's done. So this is, gonna be what is gonna happen for me it's just gonna be Roberto's going through that to that turtles and it's just comes out happy at the end so what's gonna happen here I want to bake this simulation before I render so I have a file cache here and I have this pad set and everything is it's ready but also when I what I want to do from the command line the when this finish uh, caching I want to activate this guy right because if i don't activate this guy it's gonna simulate over and over so i want to just click this guy so i load from this in this case may, may not be the case because everything might fit in memory but in a huge simulation it won't fit in memory and it will it will keep re-simulating stuff so the renders will be very long all right so this is what i want to do from the command line again caching this guy checking this checkbox here so it loads from the disk the cache geometry that i have and then i have some cameras here that I'm gonna render you can see right this could be different things for you in my case we're just illustrating how to do this with this simple setup but in your case will be maybe different scenes maybe different uh, files maybe different caches that you need to do and maybe just one camera or different cameras so but this will help you do all of that the details that I need to know uh, well this node here because we are gonna cache this node and these nodes here, the name of these nodes as well. These nodes should be already set with your frame ranges and everything should be just ready to go. Your file names and everything. So now we can save this scene and open a text editor. So what I do is this. I have a render.cmd file just next to my file that I'm going to render. And this is just a regular text file. Here is the text file. The first thing we're going to do is read the file file name so we need the exact file name that we're going to open so mread is just going to open this file like if you open the file in houdini it's the same thing so let's see the file is this one so i'm copying the whole name with the extension here so houdini knows what file to open then after that i'm triggering a render on and this is just verbose to show the, uh, the output of this node rendering so now we go to the path where the file cache is you can see we go back here. This is the file cache, obj roberto file cache. If you're using a file cache like I am here, you need to go inside and get this node actually. Because if you just trigger, uh, if you trigger the other one, it will fail. So you need this node here. So just append render at the end of your file cache. So this is going to say just bake that or run it or whatever settings you have here. So once that's said, I have an expression here to toggle that. Uh, load from this option and I have two options here. This is the all a script way Let's see if you want to do that do that here and this is uh, the a script command to trigger Python So I'm triggering the same thing here in Python which is exactly the same So I just added the end That set and it sets the parameter to true or one which is turn it on and then what that when that is on then it starts rendering the cameras. Again, same command for rendering cameras. Rendering, verbose, and camera one. This, uh, I don't need to set the path here because it already searches. The first place it searches for this object is in, in the ROPS context here in the output. So you don't need to set anything here like slash out. So then I'm gonna render this. So it's gonna go and render all the frames from this and then camera two and then camera three. If at the end of the uh, rendering you want to quit Houdini, just 
uncomment this or just put quit at the end or I don't quit at the end so I know that everything finished correctly so I can just check what happened so this this is the setup it's just just you are uh, giving Houdini a set of commands or of restrictions what to do and it's gonna follow this just one by one I really recommend that you test it before you leave it all night or something like that just render a few frames from uh, from their simulation a few frames from each camera or any any jobs that you're queuing here just to to make sure that everything it's it's going okay sometimes I detect some errors and if something depends on on something else everything might fail continuing from the previous fail so just test before you leave it all night so how do we run this and I'm gonna show you here I am in Linux right now Alright, so here I open a terminal where my project is. So let's see this. If you are on Windows or in Mac, just run the command tools from your icon in Houdini. In Mac and Windows, you have that icon to run this. It will open a terminal uh, with the command there. I'm going to run here, but in Linux is not there. So Linux, you have to let me go to where Houdini is installed. And here, and I'm going to source Houdini setup. So Houdini has been initialized here, so I can just run Houdini from the command line. And this is exactly what the command line tool does in the backend. So I'm going to go back to my folder where I was before. And you can see here I have that render command here. And I have my scene that I'm going to render here. So it's in the same place. So I'm just going to say h batch, h, sorry, h script, h script, and then render that command. And when I click and I press enter, you can see we are entering in HBash. We are opening the scene. Now we are rendering the uh, simulation. This is also very useful if you don't want to load all the stuff into RAM twice because you have the UI open. So this way you only have one instance of Houdini running. Now it's rendering camera one. You can see it's rendering camera one. So I'm going to pause and I'm going to be back when this is so when this is done, but you can see it already did the simulation. Now it's rendering the frames. All right. So after all the renders are done, you can see that we have all the files and renders here and we are happy. Maybe before we trigger this, we just went home and came back in the morning and everything is done for us. Maybe we just need to composite these files and we'll pass it to someone else or something like that. So there you go. This is how you render from the command line. It's something really, really useful and I use it a lot. So I hope you find this trick useful and I will see you in the next one. Thank you guys. If this has been useful for you, please subscribe and share it with your peers. Thank you.